Hi, I'm Kathy Johnson with Pyramid of Potential. This is video 19 of the 60 part video called Harnessing Learning Potential. Today is all about the moral reflex. And if there is no other thing that you learn from this video series, I hope that you learn everything from this, this particular video because it's, it is so important to integrate the moral reflex. Let me start off by explaining what it is. Um, when a little baby is born, and if you drop them a little bit or blow in their face or startle them in some way, they go, <gasps> and they have that sharp intake of breath. Their arms uh, come up and shake and their legs come up and shake. So that if by mistake they were dropped forward, um, their legs and their arms would keep their head from hitting the floor. So, so it's an important thing. It's also fight or flight, and which is an important, obviously, thing for people to have. Uh, <clears throat> it emerges in utero, but it is um, usually integrated by four months of life. But if not, a lot of things can happen. Let's take an example, or not an example, let's take a look at the list. We might see motion sickness, poor balance and coordination, or physically timid. Poor stamina, hyperactivity followed by fatigue. We might see visual problems like fixation, where somebody is unable to keep their eyes on an object for 10 or more seconds. We might see excessive blinking or doesn't maintain eye contact. They might be light hypersensitive. This is where they walk out of a building into bright sunlight and it's like, ow, that hurts my eyes. Or they might have um, auditory hypersensitivity. And this is somebody who hears better than other people. Uh, for example, they hear the buzzing and the lights and the blowers going on and off. Uh, they hear people walking by outside. One little boy told me he heard every time somebody dotted an eye. They hear everything, including the teacher, but all at such a high volume that they can't distinguish the teacher from the rest of the stuff that they hear. And they're constantly pulled by this, um, you know, these noises. And so one of the labels that somebody like this could get is ADHD because they are distracted by noise. They may have allergies to food, environment, or drugs. Uh, they might have hypoglycemia, which we spoke about in when we were talking about uh, sugar and the brain. Um, they might have anxiety, and we talked about that a bit in the anxiety video. They may have mood swings, difficulty accepting criticism, dislike of change, or emotionally sensitive. And uh, they also may have math difficulties or difficulties with reasoning. So, before I go further, let's look at another label that they might get. Um, when I'm talking about um, where they don't maintain eye contact, or they're hypersensitive, or they have anxiety, we might be looking at autism. We'll be speaking about autism in particular later on in the video series, but it's something to keep in mind here. Uh, also, the last one, math difficulties. And we'll be discussing that further in a much later video, but just know that this is the seat, the seat of um, brain development, and so that what we've seen is that people suddenly understand math. So, uh, make sure that you look into this moral reflex. Uh, on the next slide, I'll be sharing with you uh, the video that we share called uh, Maintaining Brains. In there are six reflexes, um, so the reflexes that I'm talking about today minus fear paralysis. And how to integrate them, it's very inexpensive and um, we put it out there for everybody to be able to easily access and improve uh, their learning. Well thank you and next time we'll be talking about the Palmer Reflex.